Good morning, my name is Joseph Correa and today I'm going to give you five tips for your surf. Number one, we're going to look at the grip. You need a continental grip to have a good surf. In order to find your continental grip, you need to put your hand on top of the frame, slide it all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, like so. By having this grip, you can use this grip to do many shots. You can hit a slice, you can hit volleys, forehand and backhand volleys, you can do serve, and you can do overhead. Tip number two, making sure you are standing correctly on the court before you serve. By aiming your front toe at the net post, you should be aligned correctly so that your shoulders are sideways and you can turn, turn them for power. Tip number three, learning to get into trophy position. Trophy position would look like this. You are standing in a position. Tip number three, always try to keep your left arm elbow straight to make sure that you get a straight toss when you toss you for your for your serve. By having a bent elbow, it's hard to be consistent. By keeping a left straight elbow, you'll keep a consistent serve. So it should look like this. Left elbow straight. Number five. For tip number five, I'm gonna teach you the importance of the wrist snap on your serve. By using your wrist snap, you'll be able to improve your aim on your serve, and you'll also start being able to pronate your wrist, which adds additional power on your serve. This is what a wrist snap should look like. Toss, snap. With a lot of rackets, you wanna use the tip of your racket to aim at your target. By aiming at your target with the tip of your racket, You'll improve your aim and you'll hit your targets more often. Let's go over all five uh, tips again. Number one, grip. Grip should be continental grip. We're going to hold from the top of the frame, which is sliding down. We grab from the bottom of the grip. You want to make sure you have a little bit of uh, skin at the edge so that you're all the way at the end. Tip number two, you want to make sure you align yourself sideways on the court so that you can turn your shoulders for power. Tip number three, making sure you get into trophy position. Trophy position is very important. Trophy position will allow you to get in position to generate enough power and thrust on your serve. Tip number four, making sure you keep your elbow straight when you toss the ball, not bent, so that you are consistent. Tip number five, the wrist snap, which is the beginning for wrist pronation for power. You get sideways, you snap for power.